Two doctors from the University of Minnesota say youth football, including high school, should be banned from schools because of concussions and other serious injuries. Paul Kiska talked with one of those doctors today. And Paul, these doctors aren't saying youth football should be banned altogether. Well, the doctors say football should get pushed out of schools and operate independently, more like Little League Baseball does. The doctors from the University of Minnesota say concussions cause more problems than first thought. Players are four times more likely to get another concussion once they've suffered one, and that youth brains are still developing. They also believe uh, consent forms should have stronger wording about the risk of brain trauma, paralysis, or even death. They believe having football in grade schools and in high schools puts extra pressure on kids to play, but operating more like Little League would mean only the kids that want to play truly play football. They're subjected to unusual peer pressure and school pressure to play football, which is not present if the program was moved uh, extramurally and if they were not given school credit for it. Coming up at 6, Ted Ginn, senior head coach at Glenville High School, shares his perspective on the call to end football in the schools. Paul Kiska for the now.